In 2012, more than 305,000 babies were born to mothers between the ages of 15 and 19. That same year in Bear County, nearly 3,000 babies were born to teenage mothers, which is about 50% higher than the national rate. So what options does a teenager have when she finds out she's pregnant? One that's often forgotten, adoption. This month is National Adoption Month. It's a special one for me because when I was in high school, I got pregnant and placed a child for adoption. It's an open adoption and Brady is now 14 years old. It was the hardest decision I've ever made, but one that created a very loving family. The Black Ledges are the all-American family. That's scratch. No. Oh, yes, it is. Tonight is family game night with pool, video games, and foosball. Mom Katie spent her early years as a stay-at-home mom. Now she's teaching. Dad Dave works as a project manager and plumber and enjoys spending time with his boys. Tynan and Brady are typical teenage boys. And they say I look like my mom and my brother looks like my dad. But people are then surprised to find out the boys are actually adopted. Soon after getting married, Katie and Dave wanted to have children. We knew we wanted to have a family and we started right away trying and it became f evident that nothing was happening. They soon discovered they could not have biological children and after several years decided to adopt. Baby Tynan came first and only months later they got another call. So we heard that there was this girl who was going to have a baby and she wanted an open adoption. I was just starting my senior year in high school when I found out I was pregnant. It was a shock. I knew I had three choices. I could have an abortion, keep and raise my child, or place him for adoption. I knew right away that I wouldn't have an abortion, and so I was left with two options. I knew that I wanted him to have everything I'd had growing up and more. I wanted him to have a mother and a father, a stable home. My boyfriend at the time wanted nothing to do with me or the baby, so right off the bat, he wouldn't have a father. After much prayerful thought, I knew that the best decision for him was adoption. And so I spent some time going over about a dozen profiles of different families that were wanting to adopt, and I decided to meet the Black Ledges. You were 17. I mean, I wasn't expecting such a smart, mature girl, but there you were, and making these big decisions, and uh, it was very impressive, actually. Even though I was bringing this child into the world, I knew I wasn't meant to be his mother and they just seemed like the perfect family and here they were with an older brother for Brady and I just felt this instant connection with them. I knew that this was the right decision for him but nothing could prepare me for that day at the hospital when I would hand him over to his parents. And we have a picture of that moment outside the hospital and um, Every time I look at that picture, I think about that picture, I can't help but get emotional because I remember the feelings and the emotions of that moment and that day. That's one of the toughest things I've ever seen. Um, I, I, the selflessness that you, you hand over your baby who's one day old to us, wow, it's incredible. At the very moment that I was feeling happiness and love and joy for this baby, I knew you were feeling at the depth of your soul the grief that you had lost him. The night before in the hospital, I remember I just held him in my arms and I told him to never forget, never forget that for the first three days of his life, I was his mother and I loved him more than anything. As the years went by, we all remained close. Our two families have become one big family. My parents are still Brady's grandparents. And Brady knows who I am. He always has. Uh, I grew up with the knowledge that you were my birth mother, and it wasn't awkward at all. Like, it may seem awkward to people when they think about it, but when you're exposed to it when you're really little, all it is is a bigger family and more Christmas presents and, you know, how it works. <laughs> It's normal, and because we all act normal, everyone else realizes adoption is just that, normal. 
I don't feel like I'm being restricted in any way or that I'm unfortunate. I feel that I'm actually sort of blessed. Well, I am blessed because I have two awesome families. Most importantly, Brady is happy. I can't imagine my life without my family. Uh, uh, my mom is awesome. She's a really good cook. No, but uh, she supports me. Uh, she tries helping me in all that she can. My dad, a great example for me. I got an awesome brother. With an open adoption, there are no secrets. Only more people to love a child. And you can never have too many people loving a child. Oh, I have everything that I want. And I'm just blessed in so many ways I can't even count. And my story, it's not the only one. There are so many open adoptions out there that we just don't know about. And it's just, open adoption is just a beautiful thing. Now, what do you get from people who, you know, how, you know, how tough is that today? It's not difficult at all. I mean, at the beginning, that's, as you saw in the piece, it's very, very difficult. But as you grow and the years go by, you just become this, this big family. And as long as you're honest with your children, I think in any way, regardless of what's going on in your life, not just in open adoptions, but in general, everything works out in the end. And the reason you wanted to do this is to get the story across yes. and how you did it as an option. And in today's Express News on page A11 in the op-ed section, this nice uh, column by Evie Ramos, and which brings up more questions for me, but we have to go to <laughs> weather. You. All right.